Once known as the empire on which the sun never sets, Great Britain had a profound influence on the development of the entire world. Even old empires like France often had to consult with Great Britain on many occasions. However, the two world wars nearly exhausted Great Britain's national strength. After World War II, Great Britain still remained among the top-tier superpowers, but its power was waning, and it was only just hanging on. Even so, many British people still had confidence in their country and hoped to revitalize it through some action plans. Today, we will introduce the British Deadless Plan. The Deadless Plan was proposed by Britain in the 1970s. It is an interstellar exploration plan aimed at using unmanned spacecraft to explore Barnard Star, which is six light years away from Earth. According to the assumption, suitable planets may exist near this star, which is the closest to the Sun. The massive plan also considers subsequent actions such as interstellar migration. However, the core of the plan is the design and construction of a huge spaceship. This enormous spaceship is much larger than today's space stations, with a mass of about 54,000 tons. It must be built within the lifetime of the planners, so that they can see it. The spaceship will be constructed using existing or soon-to-be-achieved technology and can operate in space for 50 years, covering a distance of 5.91 light-years. To travel such a long distance, it is obviously impossible to use conventional rocket engines. The spaceship needs to continuously accelerate to reach a speed of 13% of the speed of light. The spaceship will use pulse fusion rocket engines, using tritium particles filled with helium-3 as fuel. The fuel will undergo nuclear fission reactions, generating thrust in a high-energy current under the influence of a strong magnetic field produced by a helical coil. During the continuous acceleration, the engine will generate 250 explosions per second on average. According to calculations, this exploration flight will require 50,000 tons of fuel. Since Earth cannot provide enough helium-3, and taking off from the surface of the Earth is difficult, the project will be carried out on the Moon or Jupiter, which will allow for easy access to space and the sufficient acquisition of helium-3 from these two planets. The large amount of fuel will be stored in huge metal spheres distributed in pairs. Completing a six-light-year journey is not easy. The first phase of the spaceship launch will take 2.05 years, and the second phase will take 1.76 years, during which the spaceship will accelerate to 38,400 km per second. During the flight, the spaceship will also make course corrections as needed, and two spacecraft will perform maintenance and other work on the spaceship during its journey. Upon reaching the target star system, probes will be launched. Although the deadless plan seems insane, there is some rationality within the madness. Setting aside the difficulties of building the spaceship, the plan has at least gained recognition from the scientific community in theory. Its operating principles and planned journey seem achievable with existing technology and are not purely a fantasy. However, executing the plan is extremely difficult. Building a ship with a lower technology content than the tens of thousands of tons of displacement aircraft carriers that humans have built so far is not an easy task. It requires support from various industries, and building bases, factories, workshops, mining, and smelting on the Moon or even Jupiter is almost impossible under existing technological conditions. The greatest success of the Deadless Plan is that it has set the direction for interstellar exploration. Compared to sci-fi concepts like warp engines, pulse fusion rocket engines are much more realistic and are currently one of the most suitable engines for interstellar travel. If humans establish a long-term living base on the moon in the future, this may become a reality. Although the deadless plan is grand, it is only a plan on paper. Even at that time, not only Great Britain, but also the other two powerful superpowers at the time were unable to implement it. Therefore, the plan had to be shelved, but it gave rise to two other plans named Longshot and Icarus.